Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos. Today, I wanted to do a review for you guys because I know this is a brand I've been curious about. You probably see all of the different like advertisements, Fabletics. I have been curious about it for a while and I finally uh, decided to try them out back in like, August, September, like September. So I've used a couple of their products and I actually also ordered a set. So for those of you who have been curious about Fabletics, I'm here to kind of talk about the items that I've used that I've liked and you know, maybe some pros and some cons to some things if you are all curious. I've seen a couple of reviews. I've watched a couple of reviews over the years to kind of see like, do I want to do it? Do I not? Do I want to do it? Finally, I decided to just go ahead and try it. But I specifically wanted to offer my perspective as a curvier person. I've definitely seen reviews for, you know, slimmer ladies. And they've got different concerns that maybe I have that maybe you have. So I kind of want to talk about my experience with it. So let's start off with Fabletics in general. It's a subscription. So essentially, you pay monthly. But that's the thing. You don't have to pay monthly. So it's $50 a month. I know some people might be like, uh, not so bad. Some people will be like, that's a lot. Guess what? You can skip each month. Some people are like, I don't know if I want to spend $50 each month for workout clothes. You don't have to. All you have to do is skip the month if you don't want to and just keep skip, skip, skip until maybe there's something that kind of catches your eye and then you can go ahead and buy it or you can go ahead and buy it as many times as you want. Of course, stay on top of skipping the month because <laughs> if not, then guess what? If you don't skip by the fifth of the month, you have the first or the fifth to skip, then it's going to charge your card and it's going to be more like a credit so set that reminder in case you know you're someone who you know kind of wants to just wait and see until there's something you want to buy like me and then the first time you forget to skip the month <laughs> you're not going to forget again which is what happened and i was like well i'm just going to hold that credit until i find something cute and let's talk about the main things that I've tried from Fabletics, their leggings for sure. So they start off as a new member. You can check out leggings two for $24. So that's kind of how they reel you in. Definitely how they reeled me in. Two for 24. And this supposed to be great quality leggings. So I'm like, uh, yeah, let me try that. And if worse comes to worse, I spent $24 on two pairs of leggings. I personally love leggings and workout clothes affordable workout clothes from old navy it's definitely one of my favorites i love the hold of their leggings of their sports bras the support so let me talk about a couple of the options that i tried from fabletics so i'll talk about this set that i'm wearing right now another kind of a mixed set thing and then you know my last kind of one that i got all right, so first let's kind of talk about this set. It was like a mix and match deal, it didn't come together. If you are here in Illinois, in Chicago, or just wherever you're at, you can find physical Fabletic stores to kind of check out and shop at, which is actually what I did, just because I, I wanted to go in and see and feel the quality to begin with. So if you're in Chicago, I went to the Old Orchard Mall and they have a Fabletics, which I thought was great. If you're not sure, try that way. So I went ahead, this is one of the first kind of like sets that I created. So I specifically went in for my two for 24 leggings and I bought a couple of extra things. So these are the power hold. These are the power hold leggings. And let me tell you, so I am five, one and a half <laughs> feet tall. And for my bottoms, I am a large. And for my tops, I am also a large. So we is curvy here. And for me, high waisted is definitely very important. I like, I like to kind of keep everything <laughs> kind of tucked in, but then also I feel like for the rest of my legs, also very important. Um, I feel the difference. These are definitely a power hold. I've heard some people say these are really stiff and, you know, just kind of like, you gotta, you know, get them on there. I feel like it's, experience of a new pair of jeans you kind of kind of wear them in a little bit they have a little bit more structure to them but now when i slip them on it's no problem the other issue i've heard people talk about is this like band up here they're like oh there's like too much space or like you know like i, I don't fill it up girl we fill it up we good i actually really like this kind of like top tummy control because i feel like not only are these high-waisted but specifically in the front, it like it kind of comes up 
a little bit more for like your tummy part a little bit and don't it holds everything in I don't have space in there as my tops are usually a medium but you know the girls up here are a large so if you are someone who wants to really kind of hold things in there I actually really like this power hold legging I like this top part it like almost kind of like curves and scoops up in the front like not as high in the back so you kind of have like that on there it's also very subtle the logos which i appreciate i'm not i don't like too much of like you know adidas all the way in the side or nike so it's a nice little subtle i kind of got like a matching color set to go with it but the other thing i kind of wanted to mention about the leggings these are definitely these are the power hold they have a bunch of different ones to try out i'll talk about the next ones that aren't as much of a hold but for me i i have i have the thick thighs you know like i don't want my things jiggling while i'm working out so yes i love these i feel like it just kind of snatches me together and i notice the difference with these leggings and say like my old navy leggings that I love that are also high waisted I just feel like it just curves my body in a little bit better so I like I really like the whole these are probably my favorite of the leggings that I've tried I just feel the difference like other leggings yes you know like kind of not the tightness of a leggings but you know the kind of a hold the leggings give you as opposed to like a jogger or you know something a little bit more casual a little bit looser but I feel like I feel it. I feel like everything, you know, jiggling around as like I'm walking and I don't feel that with these. So these are honestly my favorite. Also, these are the high waisted super hold seven eighth. So once again, I am short. And if I can, if a legging comes in like a seven eighth, which is usually like maybe above the ankle for someone who's like five, six or higher, like, you know, normal height, not short. This is actually kind of like a perfect type of a uh, length for me for a short person where you don't have to like scrunch it all the way. I'm trying to see if you can like tell, but like it doesn't look like where it would normally be scrunched here. Um, so lengthwise, I love these. They fit me like what a regular <laughs> legging would fit like. Now for the top. So for me, the girls, I don't know what size bra I am anymore <laughs> since I lost weight, but I would definitely say I'm somewhere around like the double D area. So I like to either get a medium impact or a high impact bra because I feel like I usually try to do either some sort of hit or I do enjoy running. <sighs> and when you got girls like these running, you need a really good like tight hold bra. When it comes to impact for high impact type of activities, I love this one. This is the high impact like zip up. I, they might have just like general other bras now since I did get this more around like the summertime, but the high impact is high impact. Like I felt it like you got to do the run test and I feel like it holds the girls in place. I've, that's like the hardest thing when you're part of the big titty committee is a finding the bra that's going to support, that's going to hold, you know, when you're doing maybe not high impact activity, but I feel like even when it's like arm day, like I'm still like my warm up. it's, you know, maybe it's a jump rope, maybe it's, you know, a quick like light run, maybe on the stairs, like there's some jumping happening. And the best thing honestly for me is either a medium impact or high impact. So for me, the impact, the hold, get the high impact. If you need the high impact, it holds. If you're someone who does enjoy you know that type of activity if you're doing yoga or something maybe get the you know kind of low maybe get the medium if you're just lounging around the house get something a little bit seamless low impact you don't got to worry about it the only thing about this one i would say once again depending on your bra size once again i'm, I'm somewhere around the double d i don't even know anymore it is a, a little bit on the side like boobage happening there but i mean for me that's only maybe a concern if i'm just wearing this and i'm like at the gym when that happens <laughs> or you know around outside of other people even then I, don't, I kind of really don't care but if I'm at home it really doesn't bother me but overall yes for the high-waisted um the other thing I remember someone was mentioning for the high-waisted uh super hold or power hold just in general like the leggings you know it's got like a nice little curvature like above the butt but they're kind of saying um how it doesn't really like shape your butt doesn't give it you know much of a shape once again i'm looking for the hold because there's a lot happening back there so i appreciate the hold and you know if you want your butt to look a little bit cuter to get a nicer like little shape 
well girl that's what the working part working out part is for so get to it <laughs> you know so but i like i don't feel like it smushes down my butt or anything if anything my butt can use a little bit more like just i'm looking for hold and for me specifically it does i don't feel like it like squishes anything down so overall this is one of my favorite sets especially if i'm gonna be jumping around a lot everything stays in place you know <laughs> But the other thing too, um, it's a little bit of thicker material. It's not like a hot, it's not like a fleece. I've had this once again in the summer. It's great in the winter because yeah, it's not so thin. I feel like I've worked out for hours and I don't feel like I've been concerned about like a butt sweat or anything like that. So it's got that like moisture wick technology stuff, but let me show you. But added extra if maybe you don't you feel like oh your boobs are a little bit bigger and you have a little bit of side boob like I had and you know you kind of want to cover it up or in general you're not comfortable working out with just a sports bra and a legging but you kind of want something a little bit cuter not so loose fitting I really like this blaze tank top it's almost kind of like a cropped tank top I've never been a cropped tank top person but this is like the perfect size where like because you have the high waist you know, like it, it like fits perfectly. So you still, you can still kind of see all your curves. They probably have this in like different colors, but if you're interested in like a cropped tank top, you kind of want something a little bit cuter. You don't want to have baggy clothes or anything. I would suggest like a cropped tank top, something cute to kind of go with this. But this set is my favorite and we did on top, like girl, it was unstoppable. So let me show you the next legging. So the next kind of set I created. So this legging, First off, this has pockets. This is the Oasis High Waisted. So if you felt like the, what do you call it? The power hold was just too much, like too much hold. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> if you're someone who likes things to be held, you want something a little bit more comfortable, not as snug. The next one I would probably suggest is the High Waisted Oasis. It's not as I guess not as much of a faja feeling if you know what I'm talking about like a corset type of feeling gives you a little bit more breather room but once again like I mean there's like room for some jiggle you know whatever but it isn't like so loose that you know things are going around everywhere I do like that these have the pockets whereas the power hold didn't because you know it's focused on holding everything you got so I actually do like these pockets depending on the size of your iPhone this one works fine with my like iPhone I have the 11 but if you have like a mega one like that newest 12 maybe that's gonna fall out each one the difference pockets might be a little bit different but this one has pockets which i appreciate the power hold though what it did have it was it was like a little mini pocket like just tiny right here maybe if you want to put like a key or like a little bit of cash or something if maybe your house key if you're going out for a run that would be perfect and then this is the high impact the bell bra also another high impact one but it's kind of got like a little bit supposed to be I guess like kind of cute here you know for I don't know a little bit design if you want like ooh, a little boobage going on there but I do like for this one there's no kind of like bra like boob side boob hanging out so I did appreciate that but the other thing I wanted to mention about their high-waisted leggings I would say for both of them these and the what do you call it the power hold ones I enjoyed it because while they hold everything in, the power hold for sure, but both of them, when I'm kind of like jumping around, you're doing squats, it's not like coming down. Like, have you had that experience with leggings when they're kind of rolling under your belly? If you got a little bit more of the belly area where you're trying to do like jump squats or just in general, like while you're running, you gotta like constantly pull them up. The hold on these, the, this Oasis and the power hold, I think are really great compared to like some of my other leggings. These are just a little bit more comfortable if you feel like the power hold is too much for you. Maybe if you got two for 24 and you got two different colors of the power hold, that was too much. Check out these Oasis high-waisted ones. Once again, seven, eight leggings. So perfect for if you're my height, if you're a little bit taller, it's just gonna be like above the ankle a little bit if that's the look that you like, but I specifically get the seven eighths if I can, but I like a both of these sets. I mean, if you're someone who doesn't, you know, like a that down there, it's just something a little bit extra cute. Also the back, so this is just one of those like, you know, just to be a little bit cuter type of style. But once again, also the like moisture 
WIC technology really great. I like them both. Um, I probably just prefer my power hold a little bit more because once I am a little bit curvier, I, I just like what that does for and my body. Makes me look like extra snatch. These give like that nice little curve here too, but the other ones, ooh, I like it, I like it. Finally, this is a new set that I just bought, so it's probably still available. It's like one of their newer releases. This was called like, a vacation type of a thing but this is a zone high-waisted I didn't even realize when I picked it up I was like oh I should check but this is also a power hold legging and then this is a medium impact the sports bra so it kind of came together as a set once again you don't have to get them as a set but for me I specifically like to try to find the sets because I was like I was like, it was when I missed, <laughs> I forgot to skip my month. So that was like, that's $50. But you can kind of either use it as a like credit or like that $50 towards it. And a lot of times they'll combine the sets. So it's one credit, which equals $50. And to me, that definitely feels worth it for good quality, both leggings and a sports bra. That comes down to like $25 and $25. Once again, you don't have to spend $50 each month. Just skip, skip, skip. And maybe you do it four times a year, three times a year, and you get a really cute outfit. But I put these power holds on. I'm like, yes, power hold, honestly, for me, curvy, it's my favorite. It's like wearing a faja to the gym. You just want everything to look right and tight. Go with the power hold hey if it's too much for you or for some reason maybe you don't have as much to hold <laughs> so this part feels a little bit like a looser then you don't know, go down to like the other one that i mentioned the purple one but i love it medium impact also is my other type of a favorite if i'm not doing as heavy basically if i'm not running medium impact works perfectly fine and but still look like we're, we're still got the girls holding in place because like i've definitely had a thumb bras where it's the most annoying thing when you're maybe just trying to do like superstars some jump squats and things are flying out you're outside running and like trying to hold things so medium impact is still a very good support um or high impact if you don't need it but maybe you just like it in general but i was like oh, damn like honestly this little color scheme it was it was a pick me up it was one of those um I was reading like my horoscope it's like treat yourself i was like you know what you're right i'm gonna use those credits that i didn't use but i love it but even this one if you guys are interested in it it also it's like a good amount for like my size like bra which i'm guessing i'm around at least the double d because i still have my old double d ones which it's still overflowing over a little bit too but as you can see this one doesn't have too much of like the side boob issues and it's got like a nice little like strappy area in the back, but once again, it's not see-through. <sighs> yeah, ooh, this is definitely a nice little, especially for like this winter time right now when it's dreary and all you wanna do is like be in cute vacation mode. I love this one. So I am excited. It's like this, the set like this makes me want to work out <laughs> in general, but honestly for me overall, I have really been liking Fabletics. I would say it's curvy girl approved. I've seen some different people who love it, some people not so much. Nobody's paying me. I've just been trying it out. And for me, $50 a month for a really cute, very good quality type of a workout set, yes, is worth it. I think if you're someone who likes to work out a lot and wants to look cute, you want to treat yourself. For me, that has always kind of been like a pick me up when I'd be like, okay, if I, you know, lose X amount or if I have this much success, then I'm going to treat myself to a new cute outfit. If you love to do that, then I think you'll really enjoy Fabletics. They've got like different patterns each time. Super cute. Like I love something like Old Navy, but you know, once again, both of them wait for a sale also. You know, a lot of the times they do have these sales, these discounts. Check it out. And you know, to each their own. Some people maybe who are a different type of frame, different type of height, maybe aren't a big fan, but I would say yes i'm gonna continue to keep my fabletics i'm not gonna you know get something every month but i'm gonna skip 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 until i find something that's cute once again maybe that's three times maybe that's four times but especially right now when you know maybe work attire really isn't a thing and you are just hanging out in leggings and a nice cute top they also have sweaters they have shoes different you know things you can kind of use when loungewear but you want really cute loungewear maybe you don't like to run errands in like really nice leggings maybe it'll work out maybe you just like it for the errands and just like everyday kind of like casual attire i like it 
I approve. I'll probably put some link down. It's just a general one. Once again, I'm not partnered, but I'm pretty sure from my account, it's got like an invite your friends link. So if you guys are interested, feel free to use my link. And so I can shop some more and then, you know, share your link with your friends. But I personally like it. Comment down below if you've tried Fabletics, what your experience was. And maybe if you don't mind, like what is your frame type? Are you, you know, maybe a curvier shape? Are you an apple shape? Are you like, you know, what worked for you and didn't? For me, curvy, this works. I love it. And even like this blue set, I feel like it kind of gets you like to kind of get out of your comfort zone a little bit and try something new and try something cute. I normally don't lean towards the blue, but it just, it looks so fresh. It looks so fun. And like wearing it, I'm like, yes, girl. Yes. Also, if you haven't tried the power hold, try the power hold. I uh, love it. I live by it. I swear by it. If you tried Fabletics, comment down below what are your some of your other favorite types of leggings and why. But these are just some of my favorites. Let me know if you guys end up trying it or if you had in the past. I just wanted to share my experience with it since I know I had been showing some of my items when I got them and I had just not gotten around to my review. But having used it, having washed the products and having reused, yes, they also, the quality is good. I don't um, dry my leggings. Any type of like material usually fitness type of material i don't dry any of my leggings i hang dry all my leggings sports bras usually i'll throw in the dryer and stuff and so far everything still looks really nice really new it's not pilling it's not you know looking raggedy or anything and i've washed them quite a couple times so in case you guys are curious about that as well if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with some more of my videos and if you decide to try fabletics try out my friends link on there and you know maybe like tag me on instagram with one of your cute outfits that you pick up i might have to do a photo shoot here with this outfit but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all next time